Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. I can literally only talk to one guy a year. Like, every year I've only spoken to one guy and it's lasted three months. And I already used this year's, like, ticket. <laughs> it was a waste. Buying tickets to your own show is always a sign of success. But from the rest of us who didn't get tickets, I can honestly say it's not really a loss. If you're into someone right now, I have a couple questions for you, and I really need you to listen up. Like, as women, we often get hung up on, like, how does he feel about me? Like, does he like me? When a lot of times it's like, do you even like him? Here's your questions. You ready? Do you like him, or is he just tall? Do you like him, or does he just have a fun friend group? Do you like him? Or is he just hot? Do you like him or is he just giving you the bare minimum? Do you like him or is he just bruised your ego enough to make you feel like you need to earn his approval for some reason and honestly you don't? So next time you're hung up on somebody's dusty, crusty son, I want you to ask yourself, do you like him or does he just have a boat? Like you've even seen a boat outside of a magazine. And a couple question means two, right? Not five. But anyway, when you start your video with does he even like you? If the answer is no, any question we ask yourself after that, if you even like him or not, it won't change anything. It will make no difference. He still doesn't like you. And yeah, probably it makes it worse if he has a boat and he doesn't want you on his boat. I think a lot of women associate height. When they look at a, t a tall dude, they think three things. He's got a big... Mm, never true. Nope. Uh, <laughs> right I've been with, a, I've been with enough true. tall guys to know it is it's not proportional. Not and it is always the short, lanky guys that pull out uh, like a... F yeah. <laughs> thuds. You can hear yeah. it. It's like Thor's hammer. It is. <laughs> and you're like, give it to me. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So if they see a tall guy, they think he's going to have a big... Um, if they see a tall guy, they automatically assume he's more masculine and more of a protector. Ooh. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to guess what number three was because I think they were on a timer and obviously they used the entire video to talk about someone's D. As you know, it makes sense. We usually, as people, talk about the stuff that is missing in our life. Maybe. I can pretend I am one of those TikTok therapists. Maybe there's a part two to this video where they go back to talking about number one and maybe if there's time getting to number three, finally. I don't think sleeping around is necessarily a bad thing. One night stands every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I mean, if that's what your life is like, <laughs> power to you, sister. I also don't think there's something wrong with sleeping around. Like they say, practice makes you visit the doctor in some cases, but that's beside the point. And even in that case, more power to you. You kind of need it. I do believe that the F-boys are more affected of this and they're heartbroken. They had to have some game before and now they only have to say, yo, all that training, all that getting the game and now they don't even have to use it. Kind of a waste of time, but I'm sure they'll get over it and they'll get back to yo. As for you, we'll even cares if you will never find that man to marry you who even wants to get married these days when you can be on tiktok complaining that you can't find a good man more power to you yeah i'm pretty sure you're gonna need it but hey at least you already bought yourself a dog here's how you get them to choose you if you're interested in someone and it feels like they're not choosing you but you're choosing them i want you to do this practice with me okay Take a deep breath and place your hands on your heart or one hand because you're holding a phone in your other hand and take a nice deep breath with me. Not right now, maybe later. I don't have a free hand because in one I'm holding my phone and with the other one I'm holding myself not to throw my phone out the window. She wants you to breathe with her three times and then say that they want you and they're gonna choose you. Because, you know, it's that easy. And of course it is, but only after she's gonna teach you how to do it. And it's not even that expensive. $222. Or if you really want to become an expert, it's $222 multiplied by 6. And I've seen you in my comments say, that you should become a, one of these coaches you would make bank in less than a week let me prove it to you this video alone had 23,000 likes of course not everyone is gonna go and buy your course or her courses for that matter but some will and i know it's scary but at least you'll make your money oh i love being an independent woman i just built this <laughs> 
look at me, I'm a little builder. <laughs> no, I broke my nail, I bruised my knee, I'm dirty, three hours have gone by, what have I been doing? This is why people go on dates. That's not really why, but sure, whatever helps. Or maybe next time, just don't buy your stuff from Ikea. Or even if you do, if it says assembly required, don't buy it. Here are a list of things that I think are the bare minimum. Obviously, this list is coming from a woman's perspective because evidently, I am one. Number one, opening the door for your significant other. You telling me it's hard to go open a door for your girl so she gets into the building safely? You're telling me it's so hard to open a car door for your shorty? This is how it's supposed to go. You walk on the other side of the door, open the door for her, watch her get in, and then watch her sit down, and then kiss her forehead, and then gently close the door. It's not that hard. Second, knowing her birthday. You don't know the day where your beautiful girlfriend entered this world and graced you with her presence? At a minimum, it's six numbers. Can your two brain cells handle that? Or is that max capacity already? Last but not least, get your girlfriend some flowers. Here's the thing about most women, they want flowers. You are expected to get flowers. Cause if I gotta tell you that I want flowers, then that's me telling you what to do. And I'm tired of telling men what to do. I understand a lot of men cannot live day to day without women, but we're tired. And all we want are some damn flowers. There are a lot more, but this video would be like 70 hours long if I went through it, so. Thank God you didn't. This video was one minute too long already, so thank God you stopped. I could not care less about what you consider to be the bare minimum. I could not care less about you expecting me to bring you flowers or you asking me to bring you flowers. I'm still not gonna bring you flowers. And that's fine, you know, you can buy yourself flowers. At least I've heard someone saying that. I also could not care less about you telling me what to do. I'm gonna do exactly what I want and I really don't care if that's what you consider to be the bare minimum. I just heard the funniest thing I needed to tell y'all, okay, Mira? So one of my insanely gorgeous, beautiful friends, and I'm not just saying that to be nice. Yeah, me neither. And I can no longer listen to the sound of a violin played by someone who has no idea how to play. I did have to listen to the entire video once and it's more than enough. Bottom line, for some context, she has a gorgeous friend who was in a relationship with a not so gorgeous boyfriend and her boyfriend left, which is weird because she was gorgeous. And this gorgeous lady right here heard that he said that it's her loss, which, uh, let's face it, how can it be? She was gorgeous. It's so easy to date a pretty girl. It's so easy. Hear me out. I have a lot of girlfriends, right? Who are these gorgeous, beautiful, intelligent, smart, funny women. And they date guys who objectively aren't the best looking you know you wouldn't necessarily look at the guy and think like wow you know he's such such a good looking dude no literally the only thing that you have to do as a guy to get with a girl of your dreams is be consistent no, not really. Apparently, all I need to do is be ugly. Or then I am. Or just ugly. At least that's what I got from your video. All your friends who are gorgeous, beautiful, intelligent, smart, and funny are dating ugly boyfriends. So, all I have to do is be ugly. You don't even have a cat. It's not for a cat. What's it for? It's me. And this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.